Greetings, welcome to Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. I'm your host, Chaos, as always. Thank you very much. Glad everybody could come through today to check out the latest and greatest on the deck text of Chaotic Beagle here. Uh, today we've got a very nice, very fun, very spicy uh, dragon commander. But again, this is not a dragon tribal. This is kind of a uh, wild, uh, off the off the wall token. I guess you could call this one a, uh, I guess a sapperling one, but it's mainly just off of tokens in general. Um, but today's deck tech is going to be on do 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 this big guy right here let's bring in a little bit Rith the Awakener this is one I've been wanting to do for a long while and I finally uh, decided to go ahead and pull the trigger and get this one up and running this one here Rith the Awakener is a three red green white legendary creature dragon six six flying when Rith the Awakener deals combat damage to a player you may pay two and a green if you do choose a color then create a green a one one green sapperling creature token for each permanent of that color um, with his it is not dependent on your side of the board or theirs it's just in general so just pick whatever color has the most permanents out there um, so, I mean, it could be you've got somebody else that's running a white token deck, um, you've got, you know, uh, somebody is running a Simic token deck, or whatever it may be, uh, you basically just pick whatever color has the most, uh, permanence on the board, and then basically create a sapperling for each one of those. This deck can get, uh, very big, very nasty, very painful, very quickly, uh, and it's just fun, it's fun, um, it is limited in the fact that Rith the Awakener himself has to deal combat damage. Um, not a lot of players usually have a whole lot of ways to block flying. Uh, the rest of the deck is uh, more on the ground, but it's got a lot of surprises, a lot of fun stuff that I really love pulling off. Um, so yes, this is a very exciting deck, very spicy. Uh, again, it can explode in with a quickness. Um, I've had some really fun matches with this one. This is a more recent commander that I've put together. Um, so there are some cards in here. I will give you guys a heads up. There are some cards that I have proxied, uh, just because I am still play testing this to determine if I want to spend the money on those big boys to put them in the deck. Um, some of them have worked out. Um, but very situationally, uh, but yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, get over to it. Alright, so, first things first is going to be the land base. Uh, first off, we've got forests. Uh, with these, I believe I've got 13 forests, and I did go and basically deck out the deck with, uh, the single art. Uh, full art forest here. So that is 13 basic forests. Very nice, very lovely, very general, direct. Next in line we have five planes, basic planes. And again, got the matching artwork there. After that, we have the third of our colors. Doo -doo -doo. Basic Mountains. Again, with matching artwork. I love trying to deck out my decks, the, the ones that I really like putting the effort into. I like decking them out with, you know, full art lands, of, uh, you know, something that kind of um, characterizes the deck and what it's about and everything there. So. Uh, I do like doing that as much as possible. So, all right, next up we have unique lands. We have 12 unique lands. Let's get this bad boy to focus in. There we go. All right, so we got 12 unique lands. We've got Mosswort Bridge, Myriad Landscape, Command Tower, Rogue's Passage, which is one of the ways we can use to get Rit the Awakener past any blockers. Sundown Pass, Bountiful Promenade, Terramorphic Expanse, Fabled Passage, Evolving Wilds, 
Naya Panorama, Canopy Vista, and Cinder Glade. So there we go. A little mana fixing, a little mana search, um, a, a, a nice uh, uh, way of getting our creature, getting Rift to pop his way through so he can pop somebody in the face to be able to get his ability off. Um, and then Moss War Bridge is another one. Um, this is a big include. I've actually been able to pull some really big stuff off with Moss Wart. Uh, just by Rith himself, um, with Moss Wart, you can play, uh, basically you, you exile, you know, you look at the top five cards, exile one under Moss Wart Bridge. You can play the exiled without paying its mana cost if creatures you control have a total power of 10 or greater by tapping one green and then uh, tapping Moss Wart Bridge. I have actually been able to pull off um, some big, big plays with this card. Uh, just being able to pull off, you know, some big, huge cast and making my creatures monstrous and, uh, you know, just doing some really cool stuff. And I'll, I'll point out a couple of the cards that I've actually been able to, to uh, play with Moss Wart that were uh, some really exciting, uh, some exciting plays. So, next up we have Artifacts. All right, we have Lightning Greaves, and for the artifacts, we have seven of them. Uh, Hammer of Perforos, Whisper Silk Cloak, and this is another way of making Rith unblockable, and then he has Shroud, so nobody can target him with anything. Unfortunately, with Shroud, you cannot target him yourself, but, you know, unless you have uh, uh, globals, like board. Uh, uh, board related spells board you know board related uh, buffs that kind of stuff but uh yeah now nah, it's uh it's nice uh this card here has actually gotten me a winner too wedding ring um very nice one uh it has actually saved my behind it was down to me and one other player and i basically just hit him with the wedding ring and he was unable to kill me and i basically just overran him uh it was a it was just a wild pull and a wild play so Eldrazi Monument, Altar of the Brood, which is gloriously nice uh, if you end up popping Rith, and, uh, Rith the Awakener, and then you get, you know, 20 creatures out on the board, then that's 20 cards that they have to uh, put from the top of their library into their graveyard. So, very nice, very useful, very lethal. And then Chromatic Lantern. All right, next up we have enchantments. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Enchantments. All right, so enchantments. We have nine enchantments to go through here. We have Cryptolith Rite, Fungal Plots. Uh, this is one of the cards that I know I'm probably going to end up picking up, but uh, right now it is just a proxy. is Anointed Procession, Goblin Bombardment, Cathar's Crusade, Aura Shards, Parallel Lives, Warstorm Surge, and Rabble Rousing. Now, uh... I can't remember. I think doubling season is. I mean, there's some stuff in here that would work off with a doubling season, but with its price, Parallel Lives was just an easier one to put in here. It was just an easier include. So I know. But, well, why didn't I know? I know. But uh, no, I think uh, Parallel Lives was just a, a better include for this deck. All right. Next up, we have 10 sorceries. All right, so we've got Nature's Lore, Overrun, Finale of Devastation. That has been a big card. I've pulled off some very nice, uh, some very nice plays with that one. Uh, a little bit hard to get off, depending on timing and, and you know what you're trying to do. But uh, that one, very nice one, including here. Harvest Season, Cultivate, Kadama's Reach. Wishgar's Expertise, Rampant Growth, Sapperling Symbiosis, 
and Sky Shroud, Cr uh, Sky Shroud Claim. Ugh. Get the words out, Chaos. Get the words out. All right. That is it for the sorceries. Next up is Instance, which we have quite a few of these. Uh, we have 12 Instance that we're going to be going through. All right. Let's focus, son. Focus, old cross-eyed camera. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Boros Charm, uh, Eerie Interlude, Second Harvest, Rite of Harmony, Make a Stand, Miraculous Recovery, Worldly Tutor, Rootborn Defenses, Naya Charm, Manatithe, Rebuff the Wicked, and Harrow. So, uh, some nice responses in here. Um, I know Heroic Intervention would be a good one to throw in here just to kind of cover your butt in case somebody's like, hey, I'm a board wipe. Um, that would be a great one to throw in here as well. Um, there's a few that would be nice in here. Uh, I tried to put ones that kind of gave a little bit more i know with heroic intervention you know with some of those i know I, these i tried to add in a little extra bonus to what they're getting accomplished um so yeah this one's a little variable so that way you can get the indestructible or deal some damage or um if you're trying to overrun somebody hit somebody with a bunch of double strike and you know call it a day all right, and last but not least, we are going to go through the creatures of this deck. Um, let me see. There's some really nice ones in here. Really good choices, really fun ones. Um, but yes, so we have... Oh, uh, let's see. Can we get that to... There we go. Focus in a little bit. Focus! Focus! All right. Druid of the Anima. Anima, not Enema. A. A. Anima. No Enema. Anima. Just in case. Making sure. Uh, Dauntless Escort. Uh, again. Oh, actually. I did that one. Impact Tremors. That is going to be enchantments. Okay, we have 10 enchantments. Uh, let me fix that. That's ten enchantments. Incoming message. Uh, there we go. Put that with the enchantments. Impact Tremors. So, that's another one. So we actually have ten enchantments. Uh, I will make sure to fix that. That'll be... That should be fixed. Alright. Alright. Let me make sure... I didn't mix up any others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good on the rest of them. All right. All right. So, uh, that'll be fixed. That has been fixed uh, by the time you guys see this. So, yay! Um, Champion of Lamholt. Let me make sure. All right. Utopia Micron. Morog, Fury of Akum. Kadira, Caller of the Small. Soul Warden, love this one. This one has saved my butt on a number of occasions, just getting life every time somebody else drops in some creatures. Uh, it has come down to me and another player uh, were token dropping just back and forth. Uh, he was not able to get up over the... Uh, life that I was gaining. He was creating a bunch of stuff and doing this, that, and the other, and he was not able to get up over the life I was gaining from the creatures that even he was dropping in, even though it was some really nasty, really large elementals. Um, this saved my butt. So, Elish Norn Grand Cenobite. Again, proxy, just because I'm playtesting, determining. I probably will pick that one up, but it's still, uh, still in the playtest for some of these. Uh, Reese the Redeemed. Jetmere Nexus of Revels. 
Which, Jetmere, I've got a buddy that runs a couple Jetmere decks. That card in here is just beastly. It helps out so well. Elvish Piper. Not Vine Mystic. Witty Roastmaster. Proud Wild Bonder. Uh, Trostani Selesnia's Voice. Avison Pilgrim. Sigil Captain. Crater Hoof Behemoth. This is one I was mentioning how I was able to pull off with the uh, Mosswort Bridge. This was actually one of the cards I pulled off with that Mosswort Bridge, and it was incredibly cool. Uh, popped that off and then dropped him on the battlefield like midway through. Oh, it was it was just so disgusting. Tender Shoot Dryad. Linvala, Keeper of Silence. So again, another proxy. This one I'm still on the fence about. Uh, if anybody thinks I should keep this in, or if you have a better suggestion, or another suggestion on a card that would be great with this deck as far as a creature, let me know. Um, Linvala, Keeper of Silence is very much a on the fence. I know it kind of hinders my opponents from doing certain things at, at some times, but... I'm still on the fence of if it feels like it helps this deck or if it's uh, you know a waste of a spot I could be putting it into something a little more hefty, a little more uh, synergistic. So, Mentor of the Meek. Jahira, Friend of the Forest. Yep. Avenger of Zendikar. And Seaborn Muse. Uh, and actually, I think the only reason that I uh, have this one proxied is I actually put the card that I have in another deck, um, and I just didn't have the I didn't um, have the time to pick it up before I needed it. I was going to actually play test this at uh, our casual game night, so I think that's really the only reason for that one. So that's most definitely one I'm going to put in here. And Bloom Tender. So, very nice, very spicy, very fun. This is uh, this is a deck that if it gets a chance, it gets some momentum, it gets up and rolling, it can very easily just steamroll uh, with a quickness. So, um, very pleased with this one. I enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Just tell me what you all think on this. Uh, this is Rith the Awakener. So, oh, there we go, Rith the Awakener. Very fun deck, very nice, very explosive, very, uh, got some nice surprises in there. Um, but yeah, I have fun with this one. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. If you have suggestions, you like what you saw, you didn't like what you saw, let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys, love conversing back and forth. And uh, we are steadily gaining new subscribers, so I thank you all for coming in and joining the Chaotic Beagle crew here. Uh, we are on the road to 1000 we're getting close to hitting 300 so let's keep on chugging bring your friends bring your family um let's get some more stuff going on this channel all right you guys take it easy have a good one have a happy safe and fun weekend and uh we'll see you in the next video take it easy i'm chaos with chaotic beagle signing out later